Hey, I'm Christiana, and if you could just state your first and last name for me, as well as your production. Uh, I'm Cameron Metrajan. Uh, my yeah. production is Beatles on a Billboard. Wonderful. And could you please tell me about the inspiration behind this film? Um, this film was inspired by something that I kind of went through, um, dealing with uh, resentment and uh, learning to forgive. Um, there's some of my own experiences with a, a close friend of mine. And then was it shot at a specific location and were there any challenges through the shoot that you had to overcome? Um, we filmed uh, we filmed at my house um, so it was a matter of kind of dressing it up um, like a grandparents house and then mm. trying to uh, make the bedroom just the right level of looking lived in and not like a pristine set because that's not what real life is like. Um, as far as setbacks, uh, just uh, the launching of the Kickstarter was uh, was a big deal because I was I was kind of having to run that by myself before you know before I get the money for to have mm -hmm. the crew with mm -hmm. me. Um, also, just having to deal with uh, having to recast, look for look for other people when they had you know time. Uh, ma <sighs> Sorry, and lost the word. What am I trying to say? <laughs> trying to work with uh, when people had to drop out because they had conflicts and other mm -hmm. times and whatnot. Um, so yeah, dealing with a lot of that was probably the probably the hardest thing. A lot of moving parts always. Is there anyone you, in specific you'd like to thank? Mm, oh gosh, so many people. Um, definitely want to thank everyone who gave money to the Kickstarter because that's that's what got us going in the first place. Uh, entire cast and crew, my director Matt Garvin for you know it didn't become I didn't think like this was going to become a thing until he got involved. My assistant director Rachel Whittle, she's just woman of many talents. She was also my acting coach, so a bunch of praise to her. Uh, the people who played my grandparents, uh, just, yeah, everyone involved. Uh, my parents for um, providing the house, uh, covering some of the food budget, and then and making sure that I got here for this. Beautiful. Is there anything next in the pipeline for you? Uh, right now, just, um, and right now it's mainly going to be about, uh, like, getting this to some other festivals. This is the first one it got to really get a live premiere from. After that, for me, um, I'm... I, I have plans to work on uh, my first feature length screenplay. That one's going to be a more semi autobiographical take um, deal about growing up with autism and uh, some of the just different perspectives you get from that. Wonderful. And we always need those different perspectives. Any last words you'd like to say to Grayson and Barry? <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you guys so much uh, for this uh, opportunity. Uh, some of us, we. All we know is rejection. So when we when it's, we have a, a chance to show something that really pinpoints on you know ones that don't get to show their stuff all that much, it's um, it, it's really it's great to have this opportunity. Thank you so much. And if you could just point to the camera and say, "I came here and I have no regrets." I came here and I have no regrets.